Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. This is a medical video lecture, physiology. And today we're gonna talk about very briefly about spinal, tactile, spinal, tactile tract. Okay. So in the previous videos, we discussed about the dorsal spinal cerebellar tract, anterior spinal cerebral tract, anterior lateral spinothalamic tract, and anterior spinothalamic tract, right? So here we're going to talk about this, and we're going to talk very briefly about this, okay guys? So remember the spinal tactile tract is considered as a, what you call the component of a anterior spinal thalamic tract, okay? And... It is constituted by the what you call the fibers of second order neurons, right? So what is the location of this? If you ask me the location of this uh, tract, uh, they occupy the lateral side of uh, lateral lateral side of lateral side of lateral white column. Okay. It occupies what you call the lateral side of a lateral white column and anterior to the lateral spinothalamic tract. Okay. Anterior to spinal lateral spinothalamic tract. Okay. Right, guys. And it is bounded anteriorly by anterior nerve root. Anterior nerve root. Right, guys. So remember, spinothalamic spinotactile tract occupies the lateral side of the lateral co white column, anterior to what you call lateral spinothalamic tract, and it is bounded by anteriorly by what you call uh, uh, anterior nerve root. Okay. If you talk about the origin of the fibers, the fibers of this tract originate from the chief origin. The origin from the chief sensory nucleus okay chief sensory nucleus like anterior spinothalamic tract there is from a chief sensory nucleus and the first appearance of the fibers is in the upper lumbar segment upper lumbar segment okay lumbar segment okay and this tract is very important very prominent in uh, what you call the cervical segment cervical segments remember okay so let's talk about the course how do they run okay guys the spinal tactile tract contains crossed fibers as we know that we know that we read in what you call dorsal column tract dorsal spinal cerebellar tract uh, the fibers are not crossed right so here they are the fibers are crossed after taking origin, the fibers cross to the opposite side through the anterior white commissure to the lateral column. Then these fibers are sent to the midbrain along the anterior spinothalamic tract. Okay, guys, anterior spinothalamic tract. Remember, right? Let me write here anterior spinothalamic tract. Anterior spinothalamic tract. Right, guys. So very important. Remember. Okay. Now let's talk about what you call. Then these fibers ascend to the midbrain along the anterior spinothalamic tract, and they end in the superior colliculus of the tectum in the midbrain. Superior. Where do they end? Is they end at what you call superior colliculus of tectum. Superior colliculus of tectum in midbrain okay so let me revise you once again the spinal tractor tract contains what you call a crossed fibers right uh, they start the lo location of this is the lateral white column okay anterior to the, the lateral spinothalamic tract and it is bounded anteriorly by what you call the anterior root okay 
and after taking the origin these fibers cross to the opposite side to the anterior white commissure to the lateral column then these fibers ascend to the midbrain along the anterior spinothalamic tract okay and they terminate at what you call uh, superior colliculus of tectum in midbrain okay and what happens what is the function of this is uh, spinal uh, spinal tract is concerned with spinal visual reflex okay guys so this is we're going to very brief information about what you call uh, uh, spinal tracheal tract thank you so much for watching this video take care